What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to DAP Central. My name is Farid, and as always, today we're going to be breaking down all of the latest updates going on in Cardano. Now, to kick things off, I want to jump into a brief Bitcoin update, and then following that, I want to jump into the Wink Riders protocol. So, they've just released an updated roadmap with a pretty neat feature that I want to bring to you guys' attention. Now, following that, I want to chat briefly about the Maze protocol, which is officially launched on a private or an internal testnet and then they've also released a staking program that i want to bring to your attention after that as always we're going to be jumping into some pieces about the deck center protocol i've been talking about them over the past week to two weeks but it's not been unwarranted this team continues to take over the market share when it comes to dex aggregation within cardano now today's update is going to be surrounding their partnership dashboard or their partner dashboard which allows for seamless and quick integration into any other protocol building on cardano after that news piece, I do want to jump into some talks about the Genius Yield Protocol, which is an accelerator program on Cardano, and the fact that they've now onboarded one of the first ZK or Zero Knowledge Proof platforms building on Cardano. Last but not least, I want to talk a little bit about Levy Finance and the fact that they've also upgraded or added support for more and more projects. As always, if it's your first time stopping by the channel, my goal is to provide you guys in the Cardano community with the latest updates when it comes to the top builders building on the network. If you guys would like to support me, on my mission to educate the broader Cardano community, consider delegating with the official DAP Central stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. As always, I thank you guys for the support, not only with the stake pool, but also on the YouTube channel. Jumping into the very first set of updates, I want to quickly take a look at Bitcoin. As you guys see there, we've been trading at around the $34,000 to $35,000 range after our recent pump, which took place about two or three days ago. Now, we haven't seen a drawback or a pullback just yet. Keep in mind that that could still be in the cards over the course of the next couple of weeks. We are still relatively early when it comes to the actual Bitcoin bull market in the fact that we're still waiting on the Bitcoin having, which is scheduled to take place somewhere around April. Now, as you guys are probably more than aware, once we see the halving, we could expect to see a slow but gradual grind towards our previous all-time high, which was around $69,000. Now, as it stands, we have tested $35,000, I believe, two or three times, but we've yet to really break out of that particular zone. Now, the next one that I'm specifically going to be eyeing is going to be the 37 to 38K range, but that's going to be it there for this brief update surrounding Bitcoin. Now, if I jump over into the next tab here, we have the official DTCC website, which is where we see uh, initial listings for any ETFs that will be traded or processed through the NASDAQ. And I highlighted the fact that we now have IBTC or the iShares Bitcoin um, Trust, which should be coming out relatively soon. Now, even though we have the listing or the ticker here on the DTCC website, I want to briefly highlight the fact that we had this announcement about two days ago, and then we actually saw being retracted late yesterday so jumping over into this next page here this is coming from mm crypto a relatively large influencer within the blockchain space he had highlighted the initial release of the ticker on the dtcc website but then the following day he noticed that the dtcc actually unlisted that particular ticker so what's interesting is that they initially listed it then they removed it and then earlier today they re-added it again this has been causing a lot of panic a lot of drama and just a lot of fud um, but right now we don't have the official etf yet we've only seen some of these glimpses or some of these warning signs and then to add to this we also had a mistake being put out by one of the largest um, crypto reporting outlets, which I, which I believe, excuse me, was done by Cointelegraph. So they basically had put out that the Bitcoin spot ETF was approved and then quickly retracted that. And that actually caused the Bitcoin price to pump. So a lot of really contradicting information. But I wanted to take a quick minute to show you guys what the current market is trending at right now and what we're currently seeing on the official DTCC website. 
So that's going to do it there for the very brief updates surrounding Bitcoin. The next thing I want to do is jump into Cardano specific updates, kicking off the next session here, talking about the Wing Riders protocol. For those of you who are not familiar with Wing Riders, they were one of the very first AMM style protocols to launch on Cardano following the launch of Sunday Swap and MinSwap. Now, what we have here is going to be their updated roadmap. And so I want to quickly touch on everything they've already completed. And then I want to jump into what they are aiming to bring out, which is going to be a pretty cool feature. So we had the mainnet launch about a year ago, followed by support for hardware wallets, as well as the ability to vote for stake pools for the protocol to actually delegate their ADA in the liquidity pools too. We also have the implementation of DAO voting or governance, as well as the ability to launch or support stable swaps. If you're not familiar with stable swaps, this is basically a feature that allows for you to swap between multiple stable coins or different stable coins with low slippage and a low price impact. We've also got the support for their six different sources of yields or gains, and then they recently released their advanced user interface or their pro trader user interface. Now, we just recently saw the launch of the WRLP, which is going to be their launch pad. And then in my last update video, I touched on the fact that they've now improved their batcher speed, and they've also made improvements to how metadata loads, basically simplifying and speeding up the entire process for end users utilizing their AMM style protocol. Now, the next item on the upcoming roadmap for the Wing Riders Dex is going to be brand new, and that's going to be support for paying for batcher fees utilizing the WRT token or the native governance token for the Wing Riders Dex. Right now, batcher fees are paid out in ADA, and for those of you who are not familiar with batchers, they're basically going to be running offline or off chain, and their job is to match make all of the orders in the background that are coming into a particular liquidity pool. So this brand new feature will be adding more utility to the WRT token. Now, the biggest piece and probably the one that has gotten the most attention is going to be the pro version subscription. So right now, the entire WRT platform is completely free to use, just like all of the other DEXs, as long as you pay for the batcher fees and platform fees in order to make your swaps. So with the introduction of a pro version, I'm wondering what we're going to be able to get access to. If you guys are not familiar, we just got the release of Axo Trade, which is going to be more than just a regular DEX, but they're going to be an entire trading platform, which has now brought on algorithms as well as brand new trading strategies in different types of market orders. One of the things that really piqued my interest when it comes to Axo Trade was the fact that you can now also even DCA, right, as well as copy trade utilizing their platform. So as a part of the WRT Pro subscription, I'm wondering if we're going to get very similar features to that that we saw within Axo Trade. And then last but not least, how much will the actual Pro subscription cost? So those are just a few things to keep in mind there, but the team has been executing and they've been building over the last year. So that was going to be the first update there surrounding the Cardano ecosystem, kicking things off with an update on the Wing Riders protocol. Next, I want to talk to you guys about Maze. So Maze is going to be bringing decentralized index funds onto the Cardano network, in addition to linkage finance, as well as a couple other players within the index game. So it states here, we are pleased to inform the whole Cardano community that our protocol is now in private testnet accessed by the Maze team and the TX Pipe team. So they've partnered up with TX Pipe in terms of developing their smart contracts. So it only makes sense that both of those teams have access to the internal or the private testnet. Now, in my prior Maze updates, if you guys have not already checked them out, please make sure to go ahead and do so. I do highlight and show you guys some of the content that they showed us with respect to adding um, tokens or assets into your index fund, as well as just utilizing the platform overall. So if you guys want a sneak peek of what we can expect with the actual test net that comes out for the public, then please make sure to check out my prior Maze updates. It continues to read, in the coming weeks, we will extend the testnet to more contributors and members of the Cardano community with the aim of establishing a public testnet in due course. 
Now, we don't have an official date, but it looks like this internal or excuse me, this external testnet could be coming out as early as Q1 of 2024. So congratulations to the entire Maze Protocol team. They've been building very silently. And again, if you guys want to find out more about them, I do have a fully dedicated interview about an hour long with Diego Torres, one of their co-founders of the platform. Now, that's not all for all the updates here surrounding Maze. I do also want to touch on the fact that they have released a brand new staking program. So they had an ISPO, and I believe it's actually still ongoing. But if you delegate to their Maze stake pool, you'll be able to earn the Maze token. Now, on top of that, if you hold Maze, which the um, native governance token is now available for trading on the Spectrum Labs platform, you can now also stake that Maze in order to earn additional Maze. Now, they have two different staking options one of them is going to be a six to 12 month staking option and then the second is going to be a one year or 12 month plus staking option so you can earn 0 0.175 maize per year for every single maize staked after 180 days therefore aiming or therefore netting you excuse me a 17 percent apr and then you can also earn 0.35 maize per year for every single maize staked after a period of one year. So that's going to be a 35% APR. Now they leave the link to the official staking platform down below, which is available at maze.io forward slash earn. Again, we have the ability to delegate to their ISPO. You can also stake here with the APRs listed below, and then you can also provide liquidity if you wish to do so as a part of their liquidity pool currently trading on the Spectrum Labs DEX. That's going to wrap it up there for that second update. As always, if you guys do enjoy these particular updates, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding Maze, Wing Riders, or just Bitcoin or Cardano in general, then as always, make sure to go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below. The next update I want to jump into is going to be surrounding the Dex Hunter protocol. Now, this particular platform has been gaining a lot of coverage from me here on the channel, but it's very well deserved. I believe that they now hold over 33% of all the swaps taking place on the Cardano network with recent integrations into the Vesper wallet, arguably one of the largest mobile wallets building on Cardano. And then they've also integrated into Tap Tools, one of the mostly used analytics platforms when it comes to Cardano native assets, both tokens as well as NFTs. So this update here is surrounding their partner dashboard, which is officially live. So it states, join Vesper, Tap Tools, Block Group, and many others as Dex Hunter partners. Now, what they're going to be doing here is basically providing a, sim a seamless and simple way to integrate the Dex Hunter swap user interface into any other platform. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to be able to break everything down, but they do have some screenshots here, basically breaking down the entire process. If you head over into their website as a project, you can basically highlight your project name, provide your fee address, basically the amount that you want to keep for any trades taking place utilizing the Dex Hunter protocol. And then following that, you can then actually pick the layout and the look and feel of the actual user interface once it's integrated into your platform. So really cool features here, making it extremely simple for anybody who doesn't have a lot of technical experience to utilize the Dex Hunter platform. Now, last but not least, you can then jump back over into the dashboard once people actually start utilizing the platform to trade directly from your protocol. So this team has really thought of it all. Not only are they providing a super solid DEX aggregator, but they're now making it super simple and easy for people to utilize their platform without necessarily having to head over to the official DEX Hunter website. So to add to that, if I jump over into the actual uh, partner dashboard here, it's available at app.dexhunter.io forward slash partner. So this is the actual page here. Again, I'm not going to fill this out, but you could provide your profile information here, then jump over to customize and then view the actual dashboard. Now, what's interesting is that this was released earlier today. And right after it was released, we had the working dead, which is a learn to earn platform building on Cardano begin to integrate or become a Dex Hunter partner. 
So this is a pretty cool tweet here from Sean, their founder, highlighting how quickly it was for, or how easy, excuse me, it was for him to integrate the Dex Hunter platform directly into the Working Dead protocol. So now if you want to purchase the work token, which is the native governance token for the Working Dead protocol, you don't have to head over to uh, MinSwap, Wing Riders, etc. You can actually purchase the token directly from within the worked platform by utilizing the Dex Hunter swap interface. So hopefully you guys begin to see some of the value that Dex Hunter is bringing over into the Cardano ecosystem. And of course, if you guys are familiar or just know any other protocols that could benefit from integrating a platform like Dex Hunter, then definitely make sure to share their brand new partner program with them as well. Now, jumping over into this very last page here, I want to highlight some of their 30 day stats or the stats from the last 30 days that the team has compiled. So they now have over 90,000 unique visitors visiting their protocol with over 900,000 page views. So almost 1 million page views with over 55,000 swaps in over 15K or 15,000 limit orders. So really beginning to take off here. And as the ecosystem grows and as we get bullish sentiment within Cardano, generally speaking, I could definitely see some of these numbers climbing or doubling very, very easily. So that's going to be it there for today's segment surrounding the Dex Hunter protocol, continuing to raise the entire network up. Next, I want to jump into some news surrounding Genius Yield or Genius X, excuse me. So Genius X is going to be the accelerator program basically founded and managed by the same team that is driving Genius Yield. Now, Genius X has now announced that they will be blockchain agnostic and focusing on projects not only within Cardano, but also on Polygon and Avalanche. Now, this latest addition into their partner program is going to be a Cardano project aiming to simplify and increase throughput for smart contract developers. So Genius X has officially partnered up or added ZK Fold into their portfolio. Now I've highlighted just a few sections here that I wanna to touch on, but I do wanna give you guys a heads up that I will be having the ZK Fold team on the network or on the channel tomorrow with an upcoming interview. So if you guys have any questions surrounding zero knowledge proofs and just how they work, please make sure to go ahead and leave those down below as a part of today's comments. So it states, the first product from ZK Fold is going to be known as the ZK Fold Wrapper. This product offers L1 scaling through a pioneering zero knowledge wrapping algorithm designed specifically for Cardano smart contracts. For smart contract developers, this translates to enhanced tools and greater flexibility in designing smart contracts. So when you're thinking about zero knowledge proofs, you can basically think of them as transactions within transactions, therefore allowing for um, data to be verified at a much higher rate and also increasing throughput on Cardano. Now, I'm not a developer, which is why I'm going to be interviewing the team tomorrow, but some of the benefits and key features that we can expect with ZK Fold include no script length limit, which right now there is a 16 kilobyte, which is relatively small script limit when you're not using zero knowledge proofs. There's also going to be no CEK execution budget limit, and there's also going to be no redeemer size limit and no datum size limit. So removing a lot of um, untyped Plutus core limitations here, again, providing greater flexibility for developers building out smart contracts. Last but not least, they'll be providing private smart contracts, which again, I'm going to be diving into this um, with the team tomorrow as a part of my interview. Now, if you guys want to check out the official website, you can head over to zkfold.io, where it talks about what the platform is bringing, as well as some of their latest achievements, including the fact that the ZK Fold team has now won the Emergo Hackathon for 2023. They've also joined the Trust Valley Startup Program, as well as the Genius X Accelerator Program. Now, they are expecting to get their first demo out in the near future, and as that comes online, I'll make sure to release additional updates. We've also got their team and a little bit of information surrounding them listed here as well. Jumping into the very last topic for today's video, I want to highlight a brief news piece surrounding Levy Finance. Now, Levy allows for you to tap into the value or utilize your NFTs as collateral. And then most recently, they've launched Levy Finance V2, allowing you to tap into the value of your Cardano native tokens. So whether you're looking to lend or borrow, you can find a place within Levy. 
Now, this particular update is surrounding the support of brand new assets from two top projects building on Cardano, number one being the Cornucopius game and then number two being Book.io. So with respect to Cornucopius, you can now utilize the land NFTs from zones one and three, the Bubble Jet Sprinter, the GTI Javelin and the Valley Raceworks T3 as collateral in order to borrow ADA. Very similarly, from the Book.io project, you can now also use the following books as collateral. This includes The Wind in the Willows, Confessions of an English Opium Eater, The Picture of Dorian Gray, The Simpson Secret, Paradise Lost, and then very lastly, The Man in the Iron Mask. So that, I think, will do it here for today's update. In closing, I do want to highlight that the Book.io team did recently release some pretty major updates as well, and they've also now officially released into the wild their book token, which is their governance token for their platform. So please check out my other Cardano scoop where I touch on the book token and the fact that we have also received a teaser for the first ever Book.io con scheduled for April 20th of 2024. As always, if you guys found any portion of today's video to be helpful or informational, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, breaking down the top builders on Cardano, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me surrounding anything we've touched on as a part of today's video, then please make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.